As the only medical school serving a population of greater than four million people, we have really unparalleled access and opportunity to interesting diseases, case material, patient populations that other centers are just not able to do. And our job is to be able to harness that and work with it in a way that's going to accelerate the creation of new knowledge to benefit society and humanity. In addition to being a really enriched academic environment for knowledge creation and knowledge dissemination, Toronto is a really exciting city in which to live and to work, and the various cultural and other opportunities that are available in a city like this really make it a very special place to be able to have a very full life. The focus of the Department of Lab Medicine and Pathobiology at the University of Toronto is to achieve a high quality patient care. Added to this, we're trying to transmit knowledge to the next generation of residents and fellows. And uh, also importantly, we're trying to have a significant contribution to the, our understanding of the pathobiology of disease through having a solid research program. What's unique about the Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathobiology is its size and diversity. So it encompasses a number of different disciplines, it spans a number of different research hospitals and institutions, and this allows for a highly collaborative environment. Many pathology departments have gone the direction of increased clinical service emphasis and less of an emphasis on basic research. In our case, we actually emphasize the research engine of our department so that it is uh, conducive to generating new knowledge, which the academic mission is really all about. We are able to prepare our students for all sorts of diverse career opportunities in areas we haven't even thought of yet. I was attracted to come to the University of Toronto because it's well known to be one of the best research institutes in Canada. My research is looking at studying how mutations that cause kidney cancer are disrupting the DNA repair pathway. So our bodies are constantly exposed to DNA damaging agents and if our body doesn't repair that DNA damage, it can lead to mutations which can then progress to cancer. We teach undergraduate arts and science students in a specialist program, an honors degree, called pathobiology. Medical students learn pathology where they look at a piece of tissue or a microscopic section and make a diagnosis relevant to patient management. For the science students, we ask them, how did the tissue become that way in the first place? Why did those cells become cancer cells? Why did that group of neurons degenerate? We have the option of choosing the best and the brightest to enter our program. One field of research I'm really looking forward to is lung cancer. I've really learned a lot about the different types of lung cancer, what kind of studies and therapies we're currently developing, and I'm looking forward to seeing what I'll do when I get out, and I want to contribute to that field as well. I think what would attract uh, a resident to study pathology here in Toronto is the volume of case material and the stunning array of research opportunities. We are arguably the only full-service department in the entire University of Toronto. We have programs for undergraduate arts and science students, we teach undergraduate medical students. We teach residents. We have a very large master's and PhD program. We have outstanding scientists. We have students who challenge the established faculty to actually drive increased levels of performance. And I think what we are doing is we are just increasing the quality and the impact of what we do. And that's a really exciting and bright future, I think, for the department.